Morning guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another vlog. I think today's one is going to be just a bit more of like a daily vlog. I might vlog a little bit of tomorrow just depending on how much I actually do vlog in this vlog today. But I am getting ready for a big weekend in Melbourne this weekend and I also have a lot of work to get done and just like pamper stuff over the next couple of days so I thought I would take you guys along with me. So we are starting off this morning with getting my hair done because I haven't washed it since I got my hair done last week. When I get blow dries in winter and if I'm not training heaps, my blow dries last like a whole week. I mean I do have to use a lot of dry shampoo but yeah it actually lasts like quite a while which is good so I love Going in and getting blow dries, I feel like my hair just looks so much better. And I just go to my usual hairdresser, which is Hair Heaven Emporium over at Narang. Um, anyways, and after that, I'm getting my nails done. And then I've got to film another video, maybe if I get time this afternoon. But the main priority today is just getting my content done for Instagram because I haven't done a content day in ages. So we're getting that done today um, before I have Melbourne this weekend, which I have a lot of like family events on I'm going for my boyfriend's dad's birthday um so yeah there's just like a lot of dinners like literally every single night I'm there for four nights and we're out for dinner every single night with family so yeah anyways I'm gonna head off now I just quickly made boo some food but I'll show you guys my outfit so this set that I'm wearing is from White Fox I've had this just sitting out like on my rack for probably like two weeks now but it's actually really really cute on i love the color i love the fit and i yeah really really like this kind of like taupey brown color i'm wearing my yeezy shoes i did actually want to go to the gym this morning but i didn't because it is just so cold right now i think there's like a polar blast or something and when it's really cold, I just get super, super tired and I just couldn't get out of bed because it was that cold. But yeah, anyways, I will see you guys when I get there. My hair is done. She's looking nice and fresh, nice and voluminous. Picked up a Zarafa's coffee because I need it. Just got to Harvey Norman because I just bought like um, an iron and an ironing board online. I just have a steamer right now at home because I honestly didn't think that I'd be able to fit an ironing board and an iron like anywhere in my house or my new place because it is so small. But now that I think of it, I could probably just like put it where all of my like winter jackets are in my room and then just do it that way because honestly as much as i love steaming stuff like it's just so much easier to have an ironing board and i love like ironing and watching shows um while i'm doing it i actually love ironing in general i feel like it's so relaxing and when you're like watching a show i just i don't know i feel like you're doing like two things at once you feel accomplished by the end of it so yeah and i'm sick of like my jeans and stuff being um crinkled when I take them out of the dryer or like even just when I hang them out to dry outside so yeah I just got over it and I've just bought a new iron today I literally just went for it's called the Philips Azure one I looked up online what the best one was and that's what came up so I got that and I'm gonna go in I just parked up and I'm gonna go in and pick it up now this is gonna be interesting You're fucking kidding me. Are you actually joking? Like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this now? Oh. I can't do that. Oh my god, fuck off. Oh, why? That's stuck. Disaster. Right. Let's do it. Ah, fuck, that just hit my vagina. Oh my god, I'm stressing out. Fuck off, man. Are you fucking 
fucking kidding me, bro? That was an effort. I really didn't think I would get that in, but we got it in. It's just bigger than I thought. I don't even know if it's gonna fit in my wardrobe. Maybe I shouldn't have got an extra large fucking ironing board. Like, how big do I think I am? Extra large ones are only really good for like, if you're doing shirts and stuff, like business shirts, which, I mean, maybe I can just iron James' clothes for him. Um, but yeah, anyways, now I am heading to my nail appointment, so that's fun. Getting my nails fixed for the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be in Melbourne this weekend and next weekend as well, maybe even the third weekend of June. It's so funny though, because I've literally been to Melbourne um, like before this year once in my life and I was 17, so I just find it fucking so funny that I'm going so much now. I never used to go ever. I just never really had like a inkling to go, you know? I'd always think maybe Sydney or something if I'm gonna go anywhere in Australia, but Melbourne's just like a little bit further, but I honestly love Melbourne. Like when I went for my last trip, um, we just went to like so many nice restaurants. The restaurants are amazing. Even though it was so cold, I just love like the shopping and just the city, I don't know, I thought it was cool. So, Anyways, I'll obviously just see you guys when I get my nails done. The weather's so beautiful as well. It was raining for like two weeks straight. It was raining the whole week that I was in Bali, so I'm so glad I wasn't here for that. But now it's literally just like clear skies for the rest of the week. Hopefully, you know, for the rest of winter. Win winter? Hopefully for the rest of winter because cold, rainy weather is just so depressing and unmotivating to me. It's gone to the point where I'm going to need Maya to do like more hours than she already does because I just feel like, I don't know, I haven't been as good with my business as I feel like I should, like could be. Um, so I think I'm going to need her to do more hours so she can do that side of things, run the Instagram, but it's hard as well because I just haven't had time to do like shoot days with any models or anything because I've just had so much on like so much traveling so much family stuff and the model that I really really want to use next she's only free on weekends because she works like a um, nine to five day job but she's so beautiful um, so I can't wait to use her hopefully um, maybe the third weekend of June or I might even ask her if she can ask her work if she can do like a half day instead and just start at midday because I don't really have that much swim, like it's, it doesn't really take that long to shoot stuff. And I'll probably just book like the Versace or somewhere really nice for that. So yeah, anyways, I will just see you guys when we get to my nails. just got home i might show you guys actually a little bit later on um what's in these two bags i did do an unboxing on tiktok the other day but i may as well just show you guys what i got from bottega and harold's um a little bit later on because i'm super excited about that but i also have some stuff here um i went to sydney last week literally just for one night like we left um at like six o'clock in the morning and then left at six o'clock in the morning the next day for a white fox trip and while i was there i actually popped into the white fox office which was my first time there and oh my god it was just so amazing i'm uploading a tiktok vlog of that as well i really wish i vlogged like the full day because it was so much fun it was really like fast but yeah it was heaps of fun and i got to see heaps of things 
but oh, we have some socks here. Um, I have all these that I've yet to put away when I popped into the showroom and picked out some stuff. So I may as well do like a little try on. We do have a lot of black, not gonna lie. It's all mostly black stuff, but I'll show you guys what I got while it's out and then I'll try everything on. Okay, that's not from there. That was just from my suitcase that I need to put away because I didn't wear that. All right. What's this? First up, oh my God. I honestly, I literally have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna show all of this stuff. First up, we have this little one piece here, which I actually already have this in white. I uploaded a photo in it. And I wore this um, underneath my tracksuit to the event actually, which I also uploaded a photo in, which I'll insert. But I got this one piece. It's actually a bikini or like a swimwear one piece. Um, and I just got it to wear as like a bodysuit underneath my trackies and I dressed it up with heels. Um, so yeah, it just has like cut out sides, a nice low front and it sits nice and high up on the waist as well. Yeah, I picked that up and it looks really nice and flattering on. Again, as I said, I do have it already in the white and I really liked it. So I picked that one up in a size small. And then I also got this set here, which I might get a photo in today. So basically it's just like a black t-shirt top. Oh my God, this is so hard to show. It'll look better when I have everything on. But as you guys can see here, there's like little frills at the bottom and then the skirt, which I will grab. Um, it's just again, like a really plain high-waisted black skirt. And then it also has like the frilly kind of look at the bottom. I picked this one up in a size extra small. I do like these kind of sets to be like nice and tight. So I got that and the material is so soft. It's such a nice soft cotton. Next up, I also got this dress here, which I'm definitely gonna take to Melbourne with me this weekend. So it's just like a long sleeve um, ribbed, kind of like turtleneck dress with cut out sides. I do wonder how it looks pretty short. I'd probably wear like knee high boots with this and then a coat. So I might wear this to one of the four dinners I have on this weekend. This is actually good that I'm trying all this stuff on so that I know what I'm gonna get content in today and what I'm gonna bring with me to Melbourne. And then we also have, oh my God, this is gonna be so hard to show, like not on. But we also have this dress here, which is just like a one shoulder, kind of like boob tube dress with little cutout in the middle. And then there's also like a tie up detail at the front. It kind of just looks like a blob of black right now, but that will look nice on. I got that in a size small. I think I got that in a small because I was worried that my boobs would come out underneath if I didn't get a bigger size. Cause I do have quite big boobs like for being so small. Um, and then last but not least, I'm definitely gonna get content in this today. I actually, they like previewed this on their stories before I went to Bali and they said like coming soon or whatever. It, and, uh, it didn't come before I went to Bali, but I just have like the cutest idea for this. Um, so I'd wear it unbuttoned with, I have like a Jack and Moose hat and then also just some um, Converse. But yeah, it's this really nice kind of like patterned, um, almost like a Terry, is that what you call it? Terry fabric. But yeah, it's just a really cute little play suit. Anyways, I'm gonna try all of this on now and I'll show you guys how it all looks. Okay guys, so this is that cream play suit. It is honestly so comfortable on. Um, so this is the pattern close up. It's a really nice fit. My bum's not out or anything. So it's a really nice length. Um, and yeah, as I said, this would look really cute with like some converses or even just some like slides with a cute little hat, like a cute bucket hat. You guys will see it later on anyway, when I do content, but yeah, so cute. Look at how hot this dress is. I definitely wear this on like a night out. Um, it's definitely really small around the boob area. So I, I'm glad I sized up. So if you're like me and you're quite petite, um, but you have fake big boobs, or if you just have big boobs, I definitely, recommend sizing up because even the small isn't really like super big and I am usually an extra small. This dress is so nice. That's the detailing I was talking about on the front and then it has like the one shoulder vibe. Alrighty, so this is the 
little t-shirt and skirt set. It's that kind of cotton material that, material? I can't talk today. Um, it's that kind of cotton where when you put it on, it like feels really cold. It's super soft and this is what it looks like. I feel like you definitely wear this skirt as like a, as like a low waist skirt because it is definitely very short. Fabric, as you guys can see, is like super stretchy. So if you do like a tighter fit, definitely size down. This is the high neck cut outside low back dress. Again, the material is quite stretchy. So you definitely don't need to size up with this one or anything. It's super comfy. I'm definitely gonna take this to Melbourne. As I said, I'll probably just dress it up with some like below the knee boots that just stop here and a big black coat and wear it out one night. Because I am a bit shorter, I can kind of pull it down longer. So it is a little bit more appropriate that way. Um, I'm 165 centimeters in case anyone's wondering. Oh my God, I'm so puffed. I swear every time I like try on dresses, or clothes in general, I get so puffed. But yeah, there's that dress, super classy, simple dress. You can literally never go wrong with just like a plain dress like this. And also I find that cutout sides um, are really flattering. So I love wearing anything with like a cutout side. Last but not least, we have the black one piece, super flattering as you guys can see. Don't really have much to say about it. It does make your boobs look huge. If you have big boobs, definitely size up. Um, I don't know if I said, but I did get this one in a size small. And if I got an extra small, it would definitely be way too small. So yeah, definitely size up if you do have bigger um, boobs. Anyways, there's my little mini white fox try on. I mean, I guess I may as well show you guys what's in these bags now, because otherwise I'll forget. I'll start off with the shoes I got from Harold's. They're actually out of the box, but they're just um, these beautiful Tom Ford heels. Like I honestly, when I saw them, I knew I had to get them because I already had my eye on this Bottega bag. Bit of backstory on these purchases. Basically, I've been wanting a gold bag for quite a while. I've just been waiting until the perfect one comes out. Um, and then Bottega actually released these limited edition gold. They also released like a gold, uh, sorry, a green like foily one, which I didn't really love. I feel like green's kind of out at the moment. Anyways, that's another story on its own. Um, so yeah, I saw Bottega was doing these limited edition bags. Um, and then I called up my essay at Pack Fair and he actually said he had one in store and there's only three in Australia. Like, well, at the time there was only three in Australia. So... I literally went straight there. They were like 20 minutes out from closing. And I, when I looked at the bag, I like FaceTimed my boyfriend and showed him. And he was like, yeah, like you've been talking about this fucking bag for so long. Cause I was also looking at another Bottega one that I wanted, but I just didn't really like love it. Anyways, so I showed him that he's like, yeah, just get it. Like if you really, like you've wanted it for ages, so just get it. But little did I know, and now that I know all this, I do remember like my essay like stressing out in store because he got a phone call. Um, but pretty much he called after we got off the phone and was like, look, try and figure out a way to not get her to buy the bag. And when I was speaking to him, because I was still kind of like unsure about it because he did tell me they were getting like the clutch, the mini pouch version in. So he was like, look, I'll just hold it for you until Friday, until that comes in. And then you can have a look at both of them and see which one you want. So I was like, all right, perfect, amazing. Which I was actually kind of surprised. So I was like, bro, why is he letting me hold this bag? It's like limited edition. There's not that many in Australia. Like you'd think that he'd just want to sell it because he's people want it. Yeah, little did I know, James went and picked it up the next day while I was in Sydney. And when I tried the... Tom Ford heels on at Harold's in Sydney. I was like, I have to get that bag when I get home. So I bought the heels, the Tom Ford heels, went to Bottega straight after I landed. Like I dropped um, Tash home and then went straight to Pack Fair to Bottega to get the heels. And my SA Zach wasn't actually in there at that time because, well, he thought that James would have given me the um, bag already, but he hadn't. Like, I don't think he knew that. Anyway, so when I get into the store, she was like, oh my God, are you Tasha? It was just a different girl. And I was like, yeah. Um, she's like, just a sec, like I have to call Zach. And I was like, oh, that's all good. I really need to go to the bathroom because you guys don't understand. I like rushed from the airport because my flight was already delayed an hour. And I was like, fuck, I don't want to give it to someone else. So I rushed from the airport, really needed to pee. And I was like, all right, all good. You can call him. I'll just go to the bathroom. Where is it? Like, I'll go quickly. And then... Zach messages me straight away while I'm peeing and he's like, oh, like, I'm so sorry. I forgot to let you know, but 
I someone actually already had a deposit down on the bag and yeah, I've ordered a new bag from Melbourne. It's coming up tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I'm so puffed telling the story. Um, anyways, I've already been talking for four minutes. James like calls me and he's like, oh, that's so annoying. Cause I obviously sent him a screenshot. I was like, for fuck's sake, like blah, blah, I guess it's not meant to be, whatever. And he's like, he's calls me and he's like talking shit for like two minutes. Anyway, so we were like talking for a bit. He's like, oh, that's so annoying. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, I guess it's not meant to be. And he's like, guess who has a gold Bottega bag with them right now? I mean, I was gonna get the bag anyway, but no one's like ever really done anything like that for me or thought of doing anything like that. Obviously a Bottega bag is huge, but even like anything small, no one's ever done anything like that thoughtful for me before. So I was like almost gonna cry and I'm like almost gonna cry now. But anyways, before I actually start crying, I'll show you guys the shoes in the bag. Well, I don't know why I'm actually a bit emotional talking about that. Um, but I'll show you guys the shoes first. So this is them, oh, sorry. This is them here. When I tried them on in store, I'm like, oh my God, these are so hot. I've got the normal padlock, but uh, Bottega. Tom Ford heels in the black and gold. But when I saw these, I just thought they were so different. Like no one, a lot of people have the padlock heels, but no one has like this whole chain vibe at the front. It is $500 more expensive than the normal one, but it's just so different and I'm gonna get so much more out of it. So yeah, I did pick these ones up and they were also my size and the last size and the last pair in store. So I was like, this is literally meant to be, it's just, all coming together perfectly. The bag that I got from Bottega, I actually did a poll on this and literally, basically everyone said not to get it. But I mean, I really like it. I've wanted a gold bag for ages and I know it's not for everyone, but it's not like an everyday bag. It's a bag you wear on a special occasion with the right outfit. I also wanted a bag that not everyone has. Like I actually haven't seen anyone carry this bag, probably because everyone hates it, but I don't know, I'm just sick of everyone buying like the same bag. So I wanted to get this for that reason as well. This is the bag here. I just think it's such like a standout piece and it's definitely like the only bag that I have that really is like a statement piece and that no one has it. And I just love it so much. A lot of people hate it, think it's tacky, think it's cheap, whatever, but I love it. I wanted something that wasn't like super branded and that's exactly what Bottega is known for, like none of their bags have any branding on it. So yeah, that's that. Anyways, I'm gonna start getting ready now cause Maya will be over anytime soon, but I'll see you guys when I get ready. I'm gonna go charge my camera. Dude, what's wrong with my phone? I literally took like three photos. <laughs> As you guys just saw, I um, filmed a little bit of me ironing. I've literally just been ironing all afternoon um, after I finished doing content. That literally only took me like an hour and a half. I did just kind of go over everything like super quickly. I'm not wearing anything to any events and like half that shit's just gonna get 
fucking folded away and probably gonna get creased again so i just like literally ran over everything super quickly you guys are probably gonna get anxiety watching that because this board is honestly huge like i can't put clothes over this bit or like most of my things a lot of my tops are super small but yeah anyways that's done i'm gonna put all those clothes away and then i also need a pack for melbourne i've ordered some thai food so that should hopefully be here in the next like 20 minutes i guess i'll show you guys me packing i've got to clean up my house a little bit my is staying over here to look after boo while i'm gone so i just need to make sure everything's like nice and clean for her and she has towels and all that kind of thing but yeah so I'm going to put all this away, a lot of washing. I'm probably going to do another load as well, um, just so that that's all done by the time I get home. And then I can iron some more when I get back. I've got to put clothes away. Um, in that Zara bag's actually just a dress that I need to give to Maya because she bought it off me. She's got a higher business in case people didn't know. What is this? Oh, that's the belly chain that I used yesterday. Anyways, I've got to make some dinner for Brute as well clean that i feel like i've just got a lot to do but i think it just seems like a lot more in my head than what it actually is So I just ordered some um, Thai food. I just washed my hands. That's why I left. Um, but I'm not really that hungry tonight. I've been craving soup. So I just decided to get some Tom Yum soup with prawns. Oh, also, I didn't even show you guys my nails after. This is what they look like. I just wanted to do like a basic baby pink set. Um, I feel like I always do French and... James loves when I have pink nails as well. I feel like I always do French sets, but I just wanted something a little bit more simple, even though French is simple. And I also wanted to do something different. Anyways, as I was saying, I just got some Tom Yum soup. I did order it with prawns, but it doesn't look like there's any, oh, there's one little prawn floating at the bottom. And then I wanted some chicken, but I didn't want to like get a full stir fry because I'm not going to eat it all. So I just got some chicken satay. You can really never go wrong with chicken satay. Taste test. Bit of a mukbang moment. Cheers. My nose is so runny. Mm -hmm. Yum, I haven't had Thai food in ages. I prefer Thai food over Indonesian food. I, um... Got in violet. Oh! That just happened. 30 second rule. Um, there was actually a lot of like Thai food in Bali. Mm. Well, at the W anyway. But I feel like a lot of hotels cater to like heaps of different countries. I'm gonna start packing. It's so dark right now and yeah. Sorry, it's so dark right now, so I literally can't see anything outside. So what I might do is I might just like pack what I can now, like all of my nighttime outfits and also my hair products, undies, socks, shoes. And then tomorrow I'll pack like my daytime outfits and my makeup. We're not leaving till like one o'clock, which is good, which means that we'll probably leave to go to the airport at 11. So it means I have tomorrow morning to do what I need to do, finish packing. I might actually also get my brows done as well, or I can just do it when I get to Melbourne. Um, but I might just do it here, honestly. I can't be bothered like trying to look for somewhere good. So I'll just do it here. I also got um, James's dad like a gift card for Versace for him and his mom to get like a 90 minute massage. So we're gonna go pick that up tomorrow. 
Ich hoffe, ein Gewitschwemm. Aber ja, anyways. Man weiß, Chicken Sauté ist so yum. Ich glaube, das ist auch ungefähr. Alrighty guys, so I'm just gonna close out the vlog here. I've probably like halfway packed. So I'm just gonna finish the rest of it in the morning. But I hope you guys enjoyed this super chill vlog. I feel like I was literally just at home for most of today, except for when I went and did some content, which was super quick. But that's kind of what my actual realistic days are like. I pretty much just do a lot of work at home, running any errands I have to, and getting any content. Yeah, also all of the White Fox stuff that I showed you guys in this video will be linked down below as well. Um, and I did mention, I'm pretty sure, all my sizes as I was showing you guys everything. But yeah, I hope you guys all have the best week ever. I'm sorry if my mood seems really down. Um, I'm honestly just like so wrecked and I feel like I'm getting sick. So I feel like my mood's probably not like that over the top, which it never really is. But yeah, I'm just like extra chill today, you know. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.